guys. Today we're going to be wire wrapping one of these beautiful rose quartz crystal hearts. Perfect for a necklace pendant or even a key ring or something like that. The one on the left is made with 14k gold filled wire and the right hand one is a sterling silver wire so they're both 20 gauge and then I've got these two rose quartz crystals here so I'll just show you the size these ones here are 2.5 centimeters wide they're about 2.5 centimeters high as well and then side on they're about one centimeter in depth so that's approximately what size I'm using but you can adjust your wire length and wrap hearts of different sizes Today to wrap a crystal that size we're going to use about 12 inches of the 20 gauge dead soft silver wire. So start off with just cutting 12 inches of wire. First we need to make our bail. So just wrapping it around our round nose pliers. About halfway along just start by wrapping it around leaving the first part of the wire straight and then wrapping it around two times. So that piece there, we're now going to wrap that around the other piece of wire. So that just secures it in place there. So if you can pull that around and then just crimp it down nice and tight, that just secures your bail. Then we can just check our bail with our pliers. Just check that the loops are nice and straight and together and that you're happy with them. I like to pop a glove on my left hand, just gives me a little bit more grip, but that's entirely up to you. To start with, with our bail, we want to just bend it so that it sits in over the centre of the crystal when you turn it on its side. Holding it very firmly in our left hand, we're just going to start by wrapping the wire around and do the top layer. So we start by wrapping it around the right hand side and then back up to the centre and then wrap it around the left hand side and then back up to the center and then we're going to start by coming down and doing our middle sort of layers so the first one here we come down a bit closer towards the bottom of the heart and then push it around the back but this time we're not going up to the top this time we're going across the crystal at the back so you can see i've just bent that across and then when it comes around the front we're going to take it up to the top again then in the middle so just trying to hold it all steady and firm so that the wires are nice and tight you don't want them getting too loose then we're going to turn the crystal so that you're working on the back of it and then this loop that you wrapped across the crystal at the back you just need to try and lift that up a little bit and then we're going to poke the wire down underneath that loop of wire that's going across so just maneuvering your wires manipulating them so that you can bend them around so then once you've got that through just bend it back up to the top again You've sort of got a few opportunities to just manipulate these wires into the position that you want them in. So trying to make sure that they look symmetrical. We just need to pull that piece up that we've threaded through that one at the back and just keep working with your wires. They're quite moldable at this point, so you can sort of work them a little bit and just make sure that you're happy with where they are. And once you've pulled it all tight and you've got this piece at the back as well, and you're happy with how that's sitting, then you want to just start wrapping it around your bail at the bottom. Uh, if you've got a little bit left over, then you can just snip that off and then crimping it in nice and tight so that it's not poking out okay so now you have a bit more of a chance to maneuver your wires and just move them into a more even looking wrap so 
you want your loops together so just check that as well so ideally you want your wrap to be quite tight so that that crystal doesn't have any movement um, but this is a wrap that I found holds the crystal tight from all different angles and that's why you need that little loop through pulled down through the back part of the crystal so that it holds it steady holds it tight and that's what the back looks like with that loop and then the front should just have two loops on each side <laughs> 